In my previous video, I have created a full team of AI agents to create POV videos from scratch, making them my full team of AI workers. But to take it one step further, I thought, how cool would it be if I could create an agent that helps me build this team of AI agents for different type of video workflows, like this, generating different idea agents, scene agents, image agent, video agents, as well as the SFX agent, for all the different types of video ideas that I have in mind. And so that's exactly what I did using cloud projects, creating an AI agent to create teams of AI agents to generate videos for me. Let me show you how I did it. So going to cloud, you can see over here, I do have the NAN content agent builder. So essentially what this content agent builder would do for me is to generate the different types of agents from idea to scene generations to image and video, customizing them to the different types of video styles that we want. So let's start by asking question can you create a video asian team for me and let's see what it says so very cool you can see over here it's actually asked me some questions like what type of video styles that i'm looking for as well as the large language models that i want to choose for my agents right so let's say i want to do a healthcare explainer video with animal main characters and maybe i could say i want to use the clot 3 opus uh, model right and let's see what happens Okay, perfect. You can see now it's actually generating the idea generation agent for me. And so it's pretty cool. You can see over here, this is the NAN JSON code for me to copy over for my specific agent. And so let's give it a moment and see what we get. All right, perfect. You can see now we have the first idea generated agent. We're going to copy this code over here. Okay, and we're going to go all the way up. I'm going to copy this. All right, I'm just going to open up cursor over here and I'm just going to paste this in to create a file for this. So I'm going to paste this over. Okay, I'm going to save this, right? And what I'm going to do is to go into any end. I'm going to open up a file. So import from files, choose the ideal agent that we have just created. Click open. And you see over here, it's actually created the healthcare animal idea agent for me. So that's really cool. You can open this up. You can see over here, the system message is the prompt, right? You can see over here, this is for the healthcare animal video idea agent, right? It does have the prompt fixed for it. It does have examples that is specific for this specific Asian. So that's really cool. You can see our agent actually built this up for us, right? Following that, I will also show you how you can actually build the other agents for us as well. So you can see the difference between this specific agent using our template compared to the POV idea agent that we have initially, right? It's for the POV idea style. And this time I've generated one for the healthcare animal idea agent style, right? Going back to video agent, let's try out the next one to see what we get. So let's go down, let's see what we have. So let's generate the next one for us. So let's say I want the scenes Asian now and let's give it a while for it to generate the scenes Asian for us all right now that it's done let's copy this okay go back into cursor go into scenes i'm going to paste this Asian over here and save it as a file let me just delete all of this okay paste this in all right save all close this let's go back to test and let's import our scene agent as well scenes Asian open this up. You can see this is the specific scenes agent with the format that we want. We do have the prompts generated here as well. All right, let's see the system message. You can see this is specifically for the animal concept that we have. So really cool, really cool. All right, and we can do this the same for the image agent as well as the video agent and the music agent as well. So perfect, I can see from here, I've actually managed to create the two different agents for us. And so I do have the idea agent as well as the scenes agent. And I can repeatedly tell Claude to generate the other agents for me as well, such as the image agent, the video agent. So now I'm gonna run through the steps to show you how I actually did it so that you can do it too. So let's get right in. Into it. Now, before we continue this video to follow along more effectively, do download the resources link in description below. All right, so for us to build this agent that allows us to create the different types of agent we want for our content workflow, we have three different components that we need to build today. The first one is the knowledge component, as you can see over here, which is to give the agent the different knowledge that we want for it to generate the workflow for us. The second thing we need to give it is also the workflow example, so that it understands the format that we want for the specific agents that we want to create on any end. Lastly, we also have to make sure to give it a specific prompt and instruction that allows the agent to really understand how to generate the workflow and examples for us in the format that we want. All right, so let's start off with the very first part, which is the knowledge base. So to create agents or any AI that's useful for us, the knowledge is actually super important for it to create an output that's aligned to what we want. So the first part of the knowledge is to actually have the different NAN workflows to help you understand what actually consists of the agent format that we want. So for example, let's say I'm using this POV video template as an example, right? I do have this template for all the different agents to generate 
generate videos for me. So what I want to do is actually change the prompts as well as the large language model to create different outputs for different types of video. And so how I actually want to do that, so instead of sending this whole specific JSON file to the AI agent, it could be quite overwhelming and for the models today, it might not be able to create a perfect output for us. I've decided to split it up to five different segments. Where I can see you from here, the only agents that we really need to vary is the idea agent, the scenes agent, the image agent, the video agent, as well as the sound effects agent. The render video agent is actually quite standard in terms of the format, as well as the publishing agent, which will also be standard in its format. So all we gotta do is to vary the five agents on top and we will get a different video result that we want. So essentially I've created five different workflows the first one is the ideal agent over here. I can see this is the ideal agent. The next one is the scenes agent over here. The third one is the image agent over here. The fourth is the video agent. And the fifth is the sound effects agent over here. Once I have each of these agent generated into different workflows, what I'm going to do is to download them over here by clicking into this and click download. Okay, once I have five of them, I'm going to use the files later on. All right, the next thing I want to do is to, of course, vary the prompts itself. So you can see from here for each of these agents, I do have a specific prompt that allows them to generate the ideas as well as the image and the scenes in the specific video format that I want. So you can see for the POV video idea that I have, you can see over here things like the role is actually customized to the POV idea type of video, right? We also have examples that are matching the POV idea types that I want it to generate for me. Right. But of course, if I'm doing something like a healthcare video or a video that could be about animals, we definitely do not want to use this same exact format. And this is where we really want to change it up. And so to do so, we definitely have to create prompt examples to let the AI understand and reference to generate new ideas for us in this same format that we want, okay? And so in order to do that, I've actually copied all of these prompts in the system message and created five different examples for each of these five different agents right so you can see over here in this google document that i have created this prompt template library you can see for the ideal agent i do have five different examples this first one is the pov generator idea agent the second i've actually created one for animal journey you can see over here row has been transformed into viral animal story agent and i also give it different examples such as the rejected rabbit glow up, the lonely cat who built a cafe, as well as the frog who wanted to be a rapper. The third example I've given it is a live debate idea agent. So this could be another concept that could be interesting and I think could go viral as well. So I also give it a different system message telling it to be a viral live debate agent, as well as different examples with viral debate ideas, which I think could be useful for this specific type of agent. And following that, I do have the character viral idea agent as well, which is a concept to reimagine different types of characters. And you can see the prompt is also customized accordingly, right? And the different examples is also created accordingly as well. And lastly, the advice niche idea agent, a concept that is pretty viral in TikTok as well. I think this could be useful. So I give it as the other example as well. And similarly, I've also created all the different examples for each of these five videos for the scenes, right? As well as the image, the type of image prompts to use for the different examples for the video generation prompts as well as well as the sfx agents as well right so there's five examples more than enough for the agent to use as reference create different types of videos or even suggest videos in the format that we want over here now how do I actually do this is essentially I also use the help of ChatGPT and Claude to help me generate these different video ideas. So what I actually did is actually send them the very first prompt from the POV generator agent. And then essentially from there, I actually use Claude or GPT to help me generate the version for the different types of videos such as Animal Journey, as well as the live debate agent and so on and so forth. All right, so this does take a little bit of time, but what kind of data we actually have would be super useful as a foundation to generate the different types of agent for us in the format that we want. And so this is just one example for the type of videos that I want to create. And so for your own specific use cases, you could generate different types of prompts that you think could be valuable to your own specific use cases. And the AI agent will actually learn and use them as base to generate the type of videos that you exactly want. All right. Now that we are done with this specific part, I will also download each of this file and I'm going to upload them into Claude later on. Lastly, if you take a look at the workflow that we have over here, the other thing that I want to try changing is also the model that we're going to be using for each of these agents. So you can see over here in the template that I've created, I'm using the Quinn model, but there are many other models that we could actually use. So I'm using Open Router as the large language model API for all of my different agents. And so essentially it allows me to connect to different types of models as and when I want. If you go into Open Router over here, there are many different types of models that supports tools, which is something that I want to use for my agents, right? 
right so over here we do have the model id which would determine which type of models that we're going to use so what i actually did is to create a table over here with some of the models that i think i could potentially want to use i give it the model name as well as the model id and the pricing and context so this gives the agent an idea of what type of models are out there how effective they are and how much they cost and actually use the specific models as a template to create the agents for me and once i have all of this information i'm going to create my agent in cloud right now okay so let's go into cloud and what we're going to do in cloud is to create a project so for those of you who do not know cloud cloud project essentially is similar to custom gpt allowing you to generate your own agent customizing the use case to your own specific needs right to do so you just have to go into cloud.ai and create an account okay and you're going to go into projects over here right you're going to go into cloud.ai slash projects okay once you're here you just have to create a new project so i've created one so we can take a look at what we have done here Okay, let's go into cloud project. There are a couple of things that you can do over here. Firstly, there is the project knowledge over here on the right side, right? This is where we can add in all of the different files that we have created earlier on. So remember, we have created all the different prompt documents, right? We want to upload all of them here. Okay, and we also have created all of the different JSON files for each of the different agents, right? So we want to upload them over here in cloud as well. Where you can see I've created the video generator agent, the SFX generator agent, JSON, right? And all the different JSON files that we have. Lastly, we also want to have the large language model prompts to be added in. So you can see we don't have it over here right now. So I'm going to add that in, upload from device. And I'm going to choose the file that we have created for open router models and click open and they should upload the file accordingly. Perfect. Okay. Once all of this is uploaded, the next thing we need to do is to give it an instruction so that it generates the prompt for us in the specific format that we want. So we just have to click edit over here and set a project instruction. So if you have actually created agents before or it's your first time creating agents, this is similar to creating a specific set of prompt instruction that allows your agent to really act in that specific manner that you want. Now, what's really powerful about AI agents is that the more specific that you can get, the more effective and better the results would be to your own specific use cases. So I start off by giving it a role. I start off by telling it that it is a specialized and an AI agent architect responsible for creating a comprehensive team of AI agents for video production. And that's our purpose here, right? And its expertise lies in customizing system prompts and configuring appropriate LM models to form a cohesive content creation pipeline, essentially what we want. Right, the process firstly i want it to gather information from us right on us the user for the desired video style whether it's animal story healthcare explainers and from there i also want it to confirm which lm model they prefer to use from the open router catalog right if the user is unsure about the model recommend the appropriate options based on the complexity and nature of their video style all right and then from there that's where it's going to create the asian team so for each of the five specialized agents that we have for our video agent team it has to reference the exact json template structure that we have created for the specific agent and modify only the system message within the agent node to align with the requested video style so this allows claude to be able to generate the agent that we want only by varying the prompts as well as the large language model so that we can actually use it to generate the videos that we want in a different style without actually messing up the agent workflow that we have created okay and you want it to update the open router lm model id as specified by the user and then present a complete json for user approval before proceeding to the next agent so moving on i do have other instructions as well right we want it to have an agent pipeline right so these are the five different agents that we have in our content agent team so for all the different types of video that we want to generate it could be health care it could be a educational video we do want to keep these five agents standardized the idea generation agent the scenes generator agent image generator video generator as well as the sound effects agent all right and the technical requirements for this is to make sure to preserve all nodes connections id and parameters right maintain exact json structure or just to make sure that the agent doesn't go off trail and generate a json format that doesn't really align with what we want to create right and lastly once again reminder for the output format present each complete agent json in a code block with json and text and use the exact node names id and connections from the templates that we have provided and so that's it and that's the instructions that we have for this specific project okay similarly you can gain access to this specific prompt link in the description below so do read it and try it out and you can customize it and change it along the way to fit what you want right once we have that i do have my project over here and so because of the instructions that we have given as well as the knowledge base that we have given it i'm able to then just ask it can you create a video team for me 
And from here, it makes sure to ask me the relevant questions like what kind of video styles I like as well as the large language model before generating each of the team for me. And that's because I gave it that specific instruction in our problem example, where you can see information gathering. Okay, so now let's try another different video style to see if we can still get a result from it. We can say surprise me with a new interesting style. I want the Dipsic R1 model. Okay, and let's see what we get. And now it has a new style called Mindful Moments Videos, a unique style that captures fleeting introspective experiences in everyday life with philosophical undertones, right? Pretty interesting. So let's see how the ideal generation Asian looks like. We can see over here in this JSON format, it's actually already converting it to the Asian that we want. So it's creating an Asian called Mindful Moments Idea Asian. Or you can see over here, if you read along the way, it does have the prompt that is customized to this specific agent that we have never seen before, but it actually uses the different examples that we have given to generate this agent for us. And so once this is downloading, we're gonna copy it over to any end and see how the full agent looks like. All right, now that we have the ideal agent created, let's copy this over. Okay, copy this over. Let's go into cursor. And this is where I actually use cursor just as a base to save my file. You can use any other code editors as well, or just use the notepad and create a JSON file, okay? And then you just wanna paste in the code that we have created, right? And we're gonna save it. And this allows us to run it in any end. Okay, we're gonna go into any end, okay? I'm just gonna create a new workflow, all right? And I'm just gonna paste in the new agent that we have created, import from file. Let's go into test over here, ideal agent, open this. And you can see this is for the mindful moments ideal agent, right? If you open this up, you can see over here, we do have the new prompt created for us, right? You can see it's actually customized to mindful moments ideal agent. The examples are also for the mindful moments generated ideas, right? So very cool. And we also told it that we want DeepSeek R1 as the model. So let's see if it actually generates that for us. You can see the model is DeepSeek. Deepseek R1. So that's actually super cool and you can actually do this for the rest of the other agents as well and you can see it actually create a description for us in the sticky notes as well. So super cool and I think this is a super valuable use case not only for this specific content agent and this shows that we can generate other types of agents or NEM workflows customizing it to different types of use cases based on a template that we have created. And really what I've done here is just the surface of it. I just customize the prompts as well as the model over here but we can definitely customize even further with other formats as well such as the note the way the agent is structured the way the agent does different things as well right but for this specific use case I just want to create a agent that helps me generate different types of content team using my exact workflow to generate different types of video for me and I don't have to spend perhaps hours recreating the prompts or deciding on the different types of models that I like to use and so I really hope this helps to open up your mind to what could be possible with AI agents and different things you can actually do if you think of the box and actually utilize agents for more specific use cases according to your own needs. Now, before we end off this video, I know AI agents and automations is trending upwards today and it's going to be one of the most disruptive things in the next 10 years. So if you really want to go more in depth to learn more about AI agents and automations that you can use for yourself or build for businesses and clients, I'm creating an AI agents community where you gain access to exclusive contents and tools, learning everything about how to build practical and useful AI automations and agents to use for yourself or to sell to businesses. And what's even cooler is that you'll be able to get direct tech support from me, myself and my team, as well as the community of of AI enthusiasts learning all about AI agents together. So if you're serious about AI agents and automations, do join a wait list to secure your spot. Once again, if you stayed till the end of the video, I really appreciate you. Do give it a like and subscribe if you like videos like this, as I'll be sharing more tutorials and useful and practical AI automations and use cases that you can build today to get ahead in this AI race. Till then, I really appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.